All right, so <clears throat> YouTube actually processed my last video really quickly. It only took them like a few minutes. <clears throat> but it was, uh, in general, a much smaller uh, video too, so uh, there was that as well. And of course, I forgot to do some orders here. So we'll just do that real quick. Uh, oh, I'm really also going to do that too. All right, so I actually spent a little bit of time searching uh, Google and YouTube for, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Japanese manga writing techniques. I'm specifically much more interested in the writing techniques because I don't actually draw, right? You know, I, I'm, I'm more of a, obviously, a, I'm more of a analysis, researcher, writer type, right? But, and, you know, I, I, I actually finished Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood yesterday, last night. I was like, wow. So I'm very intrigued by the writing styles because I can clearly tell that they do so they, they do use something different in Japan, right? So I'm trying to figure out what that is and then see how I can try to, you know, you know, unify both West and Eastern writing techniques and then I can create like the ultimate story, you know? Because um, I already have a good base material to work with, right? You know, my my video game that I've more or less abandoned developing, but I still have the story because that's where it comes from, right? Seditionist. I mean, I wasted a lot of money on the stupid trademark, so I kind of want to get my money's worth, you know? So, you know, maybe I'll actually want to take a look into that. Okay, so... What is this? Uh... This is on B... Jeez. Is this thing even live? Right, Bomb B&B, Bomb B&B, okay, uh, okay, so, jeez, I'm so annoyed with this, I'm so annoyed with this, ah, uh, so they're not even live, that's the prop. that's the one issue I kind of have to figure out is the auto crypto finds projects bef way before they launch which is obviously why a lot of people like it but i don't like it because i want something that's live <sighs> and naturally it's going to be very hard to read what this says and it's a picture uh best trust taking experiment right here, we're launching jeez ah, i was like wondering why is it zero i was like okay am i on the wrong blockchain all right but and uh, did i connect the wall which i did Okay, so launch time. Okay, so I thought this thing actually meant that they were alive for one day and five hours, but they're actually launching in one day, five hours. Great. All right, well, I'm not going to... Whatever. Um, what is a boost? No, oh, great. Uh, so they have an advanced referral system, so that's actually pretty good. Let's see, tokenomics... Okay, maybe they can re-explain this. Supposedly, they've got some sort of anti-well mechanism. You can rebound it, but blast bomb once a week. So what does this booster do? Well, it's charging me uh, money. So I don't know what that is. Uh, we'll hear about her more. So are you worried because you came late, you got less bombs. Now boost your bombs and earn more. Okay, so that doesn't really help anything. Please tell me this is in text. We're only interested in one thing, boost, right. Uh, was on page four. A new feature limits the idea of being the latecomer. We saw in almost every product that the early investors get all the benefit and leaving a lot of investors left out from the yield they deserve despite investing more as well. Yeah, this is what I was talking about before. It's like, when new money comes in and then there's old money, like you get a different amount of miners, right? Or skeletons or whatever you call it. So therefore your your reward actually goes down anyway. Bomb B and B marketing team did a very profound research, so they're obviously not Western because their English is bad, and came up with a very appealing idea of boosters. Uh, not to be confused with the other kind of boosters. The idea is to give equal chance to investors who came late to the launch, they can click on boosters. It will get extra bombs, which will increase the daily price. In some cases, even bigger than earlier, which makes it bit of a okay. Is this boost bombs complimentary? No, but with small amount of money, they can secure a safe place to be in line with early investors. So this thing literally doesn't tell me anything. 
Uh, I mean, I'm glad they're trying to experiment with this, but the simple fact that they don't tell you what this thing actually does. So, they can get extra bombs. So let me think this through. So it sounds like you get free, uh, uh, free miners, right? Free boosters for free. Because it doesn't say that it costs anything. So there's probably something where it actually checks to see how, when did you first deposit or something like that. And then the longer it takes, then if you're new, then it, che it checks the differential in that. <sighs> okay. Because I do like the referral system. But with that being said, okay, well, they definitely added some new lines of code, specifically 30 to 40 lines of code. Otherwise, it's just a boost. Uh, here's the booster fee, which is a lot of gas. Boost market and nerf miners hoarding. Bomb used, comma, five. Here we go. Function boost bombs. Uh, multiply the boost fee. I don't know. It says hatch. It does eventually seem to call the miner like hatch miners. So it does seem to actually do something like this. Insufficient funds. Okay, so there is a fee for this. I just don't know what it is. I mean, you can kind of look maybe over here-ish. Alright, so there is a fee for it. So, I don't know. I, I guess you could try this. Now, I'm not too happy about the 6% differential. Uh, but with that being said, transaction pending. With that being said, this does actually look like, you know, the Fiverr guy or whatever dev he hired. Actually seems to know what they're doing. So, at least in, ter in terms of coding, that is. Uh, with that being said, I mean, I think this could work. I mean, they're also doing some kind of simple audit. I assume these audits are cheap from Hayes Crypto. I mean, believe it or not, after Certic and Jesse Eckel, I mean, after they kind of did what they did, right? Certic with Seifu and Jesse with Titano. I mean, I would honestly not really trust these audit companies. You know, it's like I'm paying them a lot of money and they could fuck me at any time, right? So it's like, you know what? Maybe I'll just pass. You know, I'll just pass. All right. Well, there's not really much to say because obviously this project's not out yet. But Yada Crypto already covered it. Obviously, I'm covering it now too. Uh, will I be investing in this? The answer is actually no, because again, I'm already earning. Because I have most of my BNB uh, staking on baked beans, and I'm very happy with that. So, you know, you know, like basically whatever. Uh, <clears throat> You know, actually, I'm trying to figure out how much money did I really pull out of it. But I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. I'll get my money back after like a month or two. Definitely by week number five or six, I'll definitely get my money back. And then it's just pure profit from there. I'm actually making a crap load of money off of, uh, you know, these minor projects. You know, when I actually pull profits, or in addition to everything else. Uh, so it actually is really comp comparable to the kind of, in well, not comparable, but, you know, it's... Sphere still makes the most money, even after the, uh, I mean, Sphere makes the most money in case my voice got muscled, muffled. Still makes the majority of my income. However, you know, I don't actually have to touch my Sphere anymore thanks to these minor projects. So, again, that's the power of keeping an open mind, doing fixed amount of bets. You can do a little bit of overweighting if you really believe in the project. So, in my case, say baked beans, I put a lot more into that, All right? So, I have a very large bag in there. All right, and I also have a very large bag in Binance Dollar Lucky Cat. So, so what you call it? So by having a bunch of these projects all throwing passive income, you know, you know they're they they're taking care of the king, right? They're taking care of me very very nicely. And if you did it the way I did it, you know, you'll be you're being taken care of very well as, uh, very much so as well. All right. So it seems like I'm seeing some uh, some big withdrawals here. I'll have to take a keep an eye on this one. So anyway, I guess check out Bomb Money or Bomb BNB in like one day and five hours. Uh, I don't know if they're actually related to Bomb BTC from that Tomb Fork thing that I did a while back. Yeah, this looks like a completely new 
thing. So, yeah. But, uh, but with that being said, this has some pretty good stuff. Uh, tiered referrals. The problem is it's going to drain from the project a lot. Uh, you know. Okay. There's, yeah. So there's the developer fee. Again, I think it's way too low. You really have to have like 3 4%. Personally, I like to see if you're offering 8% a day, I personally like to see 6% at minimum for a dev tax. Uh, there does seem to be a fee for this boost bombs function but we don't actually know what it does and the white paper wasn't helpful like at all uh, but it does look like it will generate more more miners for you so i don't really know what the point of the boost uh this is but i don't know i guess we'll see uh so i will not be investing in this either all right i mean in fact i will not be investing in most miners that i cover simply because you know, I already have my established positions, and uh, and to be honest, I only want to see when under two circumstances. Uh, I think they both have to be true. Obviously, the daily APR and fees have to be within a very small range. You know, five percent is my cutoff, right? Uh, and of course, if it goes negative, meaning the fees are higher than the daily return, then I would be very attracted to that, right? And then that's one criteria. And then the second criteria. And it's flexible too, the first criteria, because the because the second criteria is how much TVL is actually in the project. If it's a very large amount of money, like say the farmhouse, right, then I don't have to worry about anything because I know big network, big referral, probably good marketing, everything's set. I know they'll be around for a while, and of course, I'm good with math, obviously. So I know it'll be sustainable, right, based on this. So I'll be like, okay, hey, we found the next baked beans, but it's on you know Polygon. Perfect. Right? Because now that cryptocurrencies are going back up, and I actually saw, saw a sneak peek of the headlines from Cryptos R Us. I don't actually watch him that much anymore, but I'm actually going to actually let me bring up his channel on my Chrome because I do want to watch that video. <sighs> Cryptos R Us. I am George. We are all George. Bitcoin ETF is coming to the United States. SEC is about to cave. Okay, so I have to watch that too. All right, good. All right, so I actually have a lot of content I need to catch up on. And I got to go for my walk, so I got to do that first. So so anyway, I do because I do want miners in like every other type of token. So the one thing I really want to see, at least on Binance Smart Chain, is Bitcoin, wrapped Bitcoin and wrapped Ethereum miners. So that way I now finally have exposure to the two big kahunas themselves, all right? The two competing alpha male dogs in the entire crypto space in the world. Um, so, and... George is, uh, is actually live right now. He actually said that a Bitcoin ETF is actually coming. And the SEC is about to cave. So I got to actually find out about that. But right now, I'm farming my AVAX. I'm farming my Binance coin, of course. And I'm farming my Polygon and Phantom. So, you know. Oh, and of course, my Cardano, right? Where's Cardano? I'm also farming my Cardano through the Milko Mita uh, Cardano Lucky Cat. So it's looking really, really good. So this is how I get exposure to the overall crypto market. Right? Because obviously, what's the strength of these minor projects? I mean, yeah, it's very simple, good APR, but more importantly, you're getting paid in the exact same token that you put in. Right? So this is how you do it. This is, right? this is how I do it. And it's working out really, really effing well. And of course, I'm in Binance Dollar Lucky Cat. So, you know, if, so I have so I have my stable coins too. So when shit goes back down again, you know I can use my stable coins to buy more crypto, basically dollar cost average, on at the bottom, right? In fact, I could convert it to do anything. Right? I could use it to buy more Sphere, for example. I just don't do that because I already have enough Sphere. So anyway, check out Bomb BNB in a day and five hours and a half, uh, as of this uh, video recording. Uh, I'm going to pass, but hey, maybe it's up to you. I mean, this thing already probably has a lot of marketing too. So at least you, it has that going. And of course, they have this booster function. So I don't know. It'll be interesting, but I'm good. So whatever. And I'm not saying just because I don't invest in a project that it's a bad project. I'm just saying it's because, you know, I have my own personal situation too. And I'm actually involved in a lot of minor projects. So time is actually a really big problem. All right. I don't want to be spending three hours manually compounding and... Uh, withdrawing, okay, if, if I have like a hundred tabs open, so yeah.
Anyway, like, subscribe, share this video. Let's keep growing the channel. Again, thank you to all the new people. Uh, you know, we're just going to go to the top. And after, and if what George is saying is true, that means there's a lot of good stuff happening right now in crypto. So, you know, it's happening. It's happening. Like, maybe the central banks really are uh, losing power, right? I mean, I don't take such a dire uh, outlook like Greg Manorino does. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. It'll be very interesting to see what happens. All right. See you next video. It's going to be, uh, I think it's going to be wizard, wizardly, right? Uh, oh, yeah. I got to check my Chrome because I didn't write in my sticky notes here. All right. So I can actually close this up. All right. Yeah. That's going to be another mind Friday, wizardly. So uh, that's on Chronos. So I'll see you in a bit. Thanks for watching.